Hi, and welcome to this video tutorial of Chess Position Trader. In this video, you will learn how to create a repertoire, adding openings and filling them with moves. If you want to create a repertoire, you have to create a database first. Let's call it My Repertoire. Chess Position Trainer always creates a folder for white and black and a dummy opening when you create a new database. Let's delete the dummy opening. The program lets you organize your whole opening repertoire in a very natural way. Let's assume you play e4 with white. You have to deal with any potential reply to e4. For example, the Scandinavian. We add an opening called the Scandinavian. This opening is defined by e4, d5, and then we take the pawn. Now, Black usually plays queen d5 on knight f6. First, I move the queen, and I go one step back, and I play the knight f6. We've just added both moves to our opening. You can see that the candidate move list shows queen, captures d5 and knight f6. That means you consider this position exactly these two moves. If you train your opening with a training model, you are only trained in these two replies by black. Next we want to prepare if black plays c5. We add another opening called close Sicilian. As we intend to play this opening in case we face c5. Let me add some typical moves for a close Sicilian. So we're playing knight c3, like something. Well, now more or less we have a close Sicilian. We continue with a process for all main openings, which can be reached after e4, like Karakan. Or maybe a Lakin or a Perk and so on. Now it's time to organize our openings for black. Why can begin with any move? As some first moves lead to more complex opening systems than others, I recommend creating a folder for d4 or e4, depending on your reply. We begin with e4 and we want to play with the Sicilian dragon. So let's call this folder Sicilian. If we are lucky, we get to our main system with dragon. I will add some typical moves to reach the dragon. Just an e, e4, c5, knight f3, and we play with e6. And when knight captures, play knight f6, knight c3, and now we play with g6, which actually defines the dragon. So now we get into the dragon. Unfortunately, things aren't that easy for the Sicilian player. White has many anti Sicilians at his disposal. Therefore, let's add one opening for each anti Sicilian, which might be run into. That's, for example, the Moro Gambit. Uh, now we got into the moral gambit. Now let's add another anti Sicilian, for example, the Alapine. We get into the Alapine. My second move c3 and now tonight f3. And there we are. So we have just added another one and let's add the Grand Prix. Let's assume white plays with knight c3 the Grand Prix. 
And there we are. So we might add some more anti-Sicilians, for example, the gambit, the green gambit, or maybe a closed Sicilian. And now let's move forward if white plays d4. Well, d4 can be also very complex, and you might be interested in adding another folder. But in this case, I decide I play with chigorin. In this case, we have not so many subsystems. So d4, e5, c4, and now we play with knight c6, and we got white into our system. And he has not so many options like the anti Sicilians, for example. Well, you can add more openings, like for example now the bird. If white starts with f4. Let's do this quickly. So we got into the bird and some more. Once you're done, you have a very natural representation of your complete repertoire. You don't have any pseudo games. Instead, your repertoire is organized in a logical structure, which offers many benefits like training specific openings or detecting transpositions between two openings. For example, if you go to the dragon, I go to the start position, and now in this position you can already see the knight f3 is the best way to get into the dragon. Otherwise, c3, for example, is leading to the alapine, or knight c3 is leading to the closed Sicilian. Or you might also lead to the ground pre. You get this information at your fingertips. It's right there. You don't have to make any calculations or search for transpositions. It's right there in the program because chess position trainers is using a position database. Transpositions are detected even across openings. Please note that all openings you have already loaded are shown at the top of the tab in the center. Just click on the name, for example, now I click on the Alapine, you can see it automatically loads the last position and also shows me the last move list where I left. You can also click on the perk, oh, well, didn't enter any move. Let's go to the Chigurin, for example, where you can see that's the Chigurin position and so on. You can also achieve the same thing by double clicking. For example, I double click on the Scandinavian, so I get to this opening. That's it. Thank you for watching this video.